Most important thing, tell me, tell me your name, say and spell your name, and then tell me what your position is. Say and spell my name, and then tell you I'm the little blah, blah, blah. Okay, I have the longest name of anybody in the company. Okay. All right. My name is Elisa Faye Evans Newsom, A L I S A F A Y E E V A N S hyphen N E W S O M E, and I happen to be the director of human resources here for Coal Management. Okay. Let's start. I am ready. Hi. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about what I see and ma what makes coal management such a valuable position, company, part of my life that it is. Um, coal management I started with in 2004 as a temporary part-time maintenance tech and I have worked my way up to director of HR. I have taken everyone under my wings. I feel like I tend to be the mother of the company when actually we have two wonderful fathers, Don and Jeff Cole. Um, with the support of their spouses, they help make what we do every day a joy and a delight and a wonderful job. They help maintain professionalism, they help to um, give us free reign to have fun and to laugh, and also to hold us accountable to do our jobs and to do our jobs well. Uh, coal management has given me so much, so much love, so much support, um, so much pay. Um, you know, that's why we do work, is to get paid, but um, I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. They really care about their employees, they care about their residents, and they care about their business. When you take those three, three things and mix them together, you come up with coal management. That's great. Why do you love coming to work every day? I love coming to work every day because um, I don't have to spend the day with my husband. No, I'm just kidding. No, actually, I love coming to work every day because I am so passionately in love with the coals. And I know that sounds like I'm totally obsessed, maybe a little bit, but Don Cole cannot be more like a father to me and Jeff like a, the next step, a brother or a father as well. I admire them both so much and um, it's easy to come to work with people that you feel respect you back. Um, what you give to them, they give back to you. And um, it makes a really symbiotic re relationship. And um, there's just, I've done everything. As I've already said, I started as a tech, but I've dug ditches, I've done sheetrock, I've bartended, I've waited tables, I've been a secretary, I've been a lot of things. But this is just absolutely the best place I've ever been, regardless of the job, regardless of the title. It's the people. It's the people that make up our company. That's what makes me come to work every day. Thanks. Well, that's fantastic. Well, that's fantastic. How long have you been here? Almost 14 years. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Put your legs up. All right. And this happens to be the way Don Cole likes me to sit at my desk. Oh, you're perfect. Okay, say and spell your name for me and tell me, tell me your position with the company. My name is Del Love, D-E-L-L-O-V-E, -E, and I'm the director of facilities. And how long have you been with? 15 years. 15 years. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what do you love about this company? Um, what do I love about the company? Um, local, family owned, um, great bunch of people that we work with every day, um, get to be home every night, um, good family to work for. Great place to be. So, what's the what about the company? What 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 about your mission? What about your culture distinguishes this this place? Um. Well, I need to back up a little bit. This place is the most confused operation I've ever worked for. Um, turmoil every day, um, people not coming to work when they're supposed to. Um, there's always some kind of feuding and 
fighting in the office. Uh, one guy wants to air conditioner on cold, and the girls in the office in there have heaters under their desk. I, it's just, it's crazy. I, I mean, I, I say it's a great place, and the family, and but dang it, it's hard to come to work every day. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to figure something out. I think this will help. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope so. You know, and, and the Coles are not here today, or this week, so I guess it seems to be pretty candid about how things are around here. Yes, fortunately there's no videotape. Yeah, <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> no, um, culture's great. Um, it, it's, uh, we're all on the same page as to what we're going to provide for our customers. Um, everybody works great together. Um, we come in here and it's like friends and uh, conversation and it's just a good place. It's, it's good stuff, it really is. We have a good time too. We like to have a lot of fun. If you're not having fun at work, there's no reason to be here. So, What's fun at work? What, again, it's the challenge. It's something every day that we are um, faced with to, to fix or to deal with, um, whether we're building warehouses or acquiring a new community um, or hiring a new employee. It's, it's the challenge every day. Um, everybody, I guess we can use a hurricane for an example. You know, to me it was, wow, we got something different to work on this week. Yes. And we, we did good, but it's always something different to do. What was the impact of the hurricane on you guys? It wasn't too bad. We fared pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, some tree damage, um, minor roof damage, no flooding, so we did really good. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a testament to the hard work that we put into the company for these situations. We're prepared. Um, everybody knows their spot, everybody knows their responsibility. Um, when we do our repairs or replace roofs, um, we, we put the right product on. And uh, not everybody else did it as well as we did, but we did great. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It's important. Good, good. What about your relationship um, customers? Um, for coal management, it's personal. I mean, we consider every one of our, our, our residents is, it's their home. It's not an apartment. It's not, it is the home they come to. You know, I often when I talk with my friends about hiring people and it, it's hard to find good help. In our conversations, we'll talk about what we're looking for, what we expect out of a new employee or our current employees. And one thing that I try to explain to people about this industry is when you come to work for us as a maintenance supervisor or a community leader or a leasing agent, you have a key to 150 people's homes. So there's a lot of responsibility with that. You know, you're responsible for a whole community, not just one or two apartments. You, know, you got, we'll use the Palms as an example, there's 408 apartments at, in Charleston. So that's a community in itself that you're responsible for every day. So that relationship is personal. Uh, there are residents that have been living with us for you know, 10, 15, 20 years who I know by their first name. And I'm not on property all the time, but when I see them, I, I know their first name, they know who I am. So that, I think that's what separates coal management from other companies. You know, most of our communities, we, not all of them, we, we're not in the business of buying the community, making it look good, Increasing the value and selling it, we keep them for a long time. Relationships there. Great, that's good stuff. Thanks. And what about what about working for the Coles? What are they like? Um, super good family, good people. I'm impressed by Don Cole every day. And he, you'd think that in a in a man's life he gets to a point where he doesn't want to come to work, but Don comes to work every day. He's sharp as a tack. He's always asking questions. Um, he's, Don in Savannah, the Cole family's been around for a long time. Every, everybody knows who the Coles are. Um, and Don is approachable. Anybody can go up in his office and shake his hand and talk to him. Um, I hope that one day I can be better at that and give my time like Don does, but super good family. Um, Jeff is great to work with. Um, smart man, um, I'm not going to lie, we do have our differences and we do have our little discussions, but that's part of business every day. 
Um, it's great to work for somebody that it's not just working for Don or Jeff. You know, I know Leanne personally, Jeff's wife. I know the kids, um, the in-laws. It's, you know, it's definitely a family business and it's fun to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, how it gets, seems, seems that that is respected here. Oh yeah, you gotta have that. You know, it's, we're in a position for a reason and I will always focus on the facility side and, and want to do the right thing for our buildings and our assets. And sometimes I kind of get into discussions with the leasing side and they want to put the pretty face on the front door and I really don't care about the wreath or the flowers. I'm more worried about the actual structure. <laughs> So yeah, we go back and forth sometimes on what's the most important thing for the company. And it's what we gotta do, I mean, it's part of it. And, you know, that's why you have the people in the positions you have them in. Yeah. What makes you love coming to work every day? Um, I don't know, I like to work. Um, I, I can't think of a better place to come to work every day. It's, um, it's a good place to be. And, and I do not mind getting up every morning and being here. It's, I enjoy it. And I think you have to enjoy what you do to be good at it. And I enjoy it every day. Did you start in the position you're in yet? No, sir, I didn't. I started as a, a vendor, actually. Uh, was the guy that was in my position, saw him one day, worked with him before at Home Depot. And um, he needed a, a vendor to help him get some stuff done. Started out as a vendor. I needed to get a real job and made the comment one day and started out as a maintenance technician and worked my way up and right place at the right time and here I am in the home office and enjoy it. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Anything I didn't ask you? No. I think we're good. You good? Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Thanks. And the most important thing, uh, say and spell your name and tell me what you do here. Okay. Uh, Krista Villegas. K-H-R-I-S-T-A-V-I-L-L-E-G-A-S, -L -L -E and I'm the Director of Property Operations. You want to do Okay, I roll. Yeah, so I, I'm the Director of the Nut House. You know, my, my motto is, is that you don't have to be crazy to work here. We will train you on that. Yep. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> Now, how long, how long have you worked here? Since the end of April, so okay. I'm, I'm the newbie, yes. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. What, what attracted you to coal? Um, you know, I've been in the Savannah industry, or the, or the apartment industry in Savannah for about 22 years now. And um, the coal family is very well known. Their reputation is something that's very special and local. And this is home. To me, so when the opportunity was presented, it seemed like a natural fit um, to me to, you know, move into the the coal management family, and I'm ex very excited about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What uh, makes you excited to come to work every day? Oh, I love this business. It's crazy. It's uh, systematic. You know, we've got these same tasks we do every day, over and over and over again. Um, and that's good for me because I'm, I'm a little bit of an of an A type personality, but you know, but you get bored, and our residents throw us a loop every day, um, you know, and and we have challenges like a hurricane. This hurricane comes up, and you know, you can't pick up the assets and move them. All you can do is prepare the best you can, and um, you know, get through it. But it's things like that that constantly bring excitement. Um, so as an industry whole, I love it. Um, and I love, you know, again, being here um, with coal management and local in Savannah, and we're growing outside of this arena, but our hub is here, and it's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Customers, what, what is that like? How do you guys approach that? It is the most intimate, personal thing that you can do is to provide housing for someone. Um, and so on so many different levels, it can be great and wonderful, and it can be horrible. Um, you know, people are, are very, um, you know, th their home is the most important thing to them. They're very passionate about it. 
Uh, and so, you know, if we give that passion back in everything that we do and the service that we provide and, you know, um, keeping the assets up and, and, you know, answering their calls and providing a sense of community for these folks, then we get great things in return. We're not always perfect, and it's those times when, you know, we have to really step up um, and, you know, do, do what's best. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an amazing thing providing people with housing. Yeah. And I know you guys uh, yeah. charitably as well. We do, yes. Um, that's another wonderful thing um, and that makes Cole very special, um, is that they do an extreme amount of charity work throughout Savannah. And we do, we have several um, units that we have at one of our properties that are provided through um, the United Way program that are free to families that are in transition from you know, temporary housing into something a little bit more permanent. Mm -hmm. So it's a very um, you know, fulfilling sense to, to, to have the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met any of those folks? I haven't yet, because um, <laughs> I'm still yeah. new, <laughs> but yeah, um, but I know Lisa Harvey is the manager at Windsor where, where the units are, you know, and I know that she speaks very highly of these folks and, you know, what she's able to do by providing that transitional housing. Mm -hmm. cool. What about Mr. Cole and Jeff? How, how is the relationship with them? They're wonderful. Don Cole is hilarious. He is one of the funniest, kindest silliest, craziest people I've ever met. He just has an amazing outlook on life. And I remember after I first started here, because I'm, I'm kind of, you know, 150 miles an hour all the time, but he said to me once, don't forget to stop and smell the roses. That's something that most employers don't say to you. You know, they want you going nonstop in this dogmatic work pattern. So that was very, you know, touching to me. And Jeff Cole is the same way. It's very much, you know, take care of your family, take, take care of yourself, um, you know, and they're just great to be around. It's a very collaborative environment. Um, we have two meetings, well, we, every other week, we have two meetings operationally and an executive meeting where we kind of run through even the small stuff that's happening, um, decisions are very, you know, made, again, very collaboratively between everyone. So it's just a great um, environment and relationship between, you know, Don and Jeff and then um, Jeff and, and Don and myself and the whole executive team. Mm -hmm. So, that's great. yeah. That's great. But, but, but what, is, what is the culture of, of coal management? It's very family, <laughs> you know, it, it very much is so. It's, and I think you hear people say that a lot where, you know, they might work for a different company and say, you know, I worked for such and such, where a lot of people will use the word, I work for the coal family and not really coal management company, or I, I, you know, I'm part of the coal management family. Um, and it very much is our culture. Yeah. What? Oh. You know, I could talk for days. Well, actually, that would be Elisa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think um, I would like to say to our people, I think they realize it, but, you know, it's a very special thing that we're a part of, um, you know, as this company. It's the 25th anniversary, which is extremely exciting. Um, we're growing. Um, you know, we're growing slowly and smartly, but we're growing, and I think that presents exciting opportunities for our folks. Um, we've got amazing teams in place that I'm so proud of, and, you know, that was, again, displayed very recently through the, the hurricane situation, um, and I, I'm so proud of them and just excited to, you know, have the award celebration and to be here. Tell me about that. Tell me about how well, we have, so we have uh, properties that are in, obviously Savannah and Charleston, which were in the direct line of fire. And then we had properties in Macon and Augusta that were not. And so those properties in Macon and Augusta, so pre-hurricane, um, really stepped up and offered, you know, vacant units and the managers in the Macon and Augusta properties, you know, um, compiled these little packets where it was games or movies and, you know, toiletries and things that these folks might be lacking when they got there staying in a vacant apartment and, and you know, put those things together for them so they would have them. Um, they provided their clubhouses to have movie night, you know, type of thing. It was just wonderful to see them react so quickly. And we have a, um, a Facebook page that was started by one of our um, team members, Karen Cope, but she calls it Coal Management Peeps. 
Um, <laughs> and they were on that Facebook page throughout the entire storm posting, you know, I'm okay, you know, I I'm at this property, sort of, you know, we're gonna have a movie night, come join us. It was just wonderful to see. And then afterwards, of course, everyone jumped together to, you know, start assessing damages you know, Dell Love is amazing. I can't, his, him and his team are phenomenal. They were out as soon as the wind died down um, and were assessing damages on properties, which we were very lucky. We had, you know, minimal of, it was just a lot of cleanup. And again, Dell and his team and, and our maintenance teams at all the properties jumped out, started picking up debris, picking up trash, you know, checking on the on the properties, on the residents, and taking care of needs. It was just amazing to see um, within hours, again, of, of the wind stopped blowing. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't believe it. That's incredible. Um, and I imagine you, you, you helped your folks, the folks who were staying in your apartments, found a place to go? Um, well, for as I understand, there were some um, units that were damaged, um, particularly I think at Alhambra mm -hmm. um, and, and possibly Carriage House. And yeah, so they did. We always try to work with those residents. We have ten properties, you know, so normally we're able to get them into a different, um, you know, unit, at, even if it's a different property, and get them relocated as quickly as possible. That's always our top priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I think I've asked you this one off the before we go. Um, your relationship with, with residents. Did we talk about that? We did. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't asked you that yet. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, cool. Perfect. Most important thing, say, say and spell your name for me and tell me what your position is here. Okay. Right. Tell me what. I am Lord. Okay. I'm Amy Williams. I have been with coal management for five years. At, I'm sorry, no, four years. Feels like five. Um, as the director of marketing okay. and all other things that fall under that umbrella. <laughs> like marketing people everywhere. Um, tell me about the culture of coal management. Um, actually, that is why I wanted to come to work for coal management. I knew of coal management for many years outside of working for them and knew the reputation of the company to be one of you know being very fair and they're very good to their employees and very good to the residents. I've never seen a department management company that treats their residents so fairly and gives them such consideration um, as school management does. It's pretty impressive. Um, but uh, they just, they have a way of, in today's industry and in general, just in cultures, you don't find companies like coal management where you've got this great sense of family and loyalty. People, it's typical in our industry and for Americans in general just to switch jobs a lot and that's not something you really find with coal management. I don't run into very many people that have left and felt that they were better off due to leaving. They, I mean, there's reasons that people have to leave, they move. But I've never run in across someone that said, oh, I really hated working for that company. They always have great things to say. Or um, even you know, doing business with other businesses, they've always got great things to say. Mm -hmm. So to be able to work for a company like that, that's definitely the route that I wanted to go because I, I can't you know, sell a product that I don't believe in. I can't work for a company that I don't have respect for. Mm -hmm. And once you meet Jeff and Don, you know, I mean, they're respectable people. They're really upfront and honest and fair. And that's, I think, still a huge part of the company and probably will be forever. It's very nice, very nice. Um, I hold it's a fun place to work. How, how is it fun? It's terrible, it's miserable. I hate it every day. No, it's actually kind of, um, the job itself, the industry itself, there's always something new. There's never a dull moment. We hear crazy stories about all kinds of things all the time. And so that makes it fun. Um, we've got a lot of really, um, gosh, what's the word? I would say it's almost like being in a sitcom because we've got a lot of characters that work here. And um, some of those people are our residents. I mean, there's some residents Pretty much everybody knows their name because they are those characters and they are like the beloved residents who, if they were ever to leave, the, the whole community would be different. 
Um, and we have a lot of employees who add to that uh, comedic relief on a daily basis. And we, I mean, as a company, we celebrate wins a lot. We give shout outs on email. We have quarterly meetings and we give lots of kudos. And we just, uh, I think we do better at our jobs because we have such a good time while we're doing them. What makes you excited to come to work every day? Hmm, not the commute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I come from West Chatham, so right. yeah, it's not fun. Um, it's, it's that unexpected, like what's gonna happen today? Because that's never the same day, ever, ever. And yeah, there's a lot of days where you come to work and you're thinking, I'm gonna get this done today, and then you have to leave and you realize you didn't get to it because something else came up. And, got put in front of it. But that's the nature of the industry and it's what makes it fun. And you never know what's gonna come next and when you're gonna plan for a hurricane. Talk about the relationship with the, with the residents. Um, I think we have probably one of the highest resident retention rates, um, not just as a company, but Savannah's got a pretty high um, resident retention rate. Actually, no, they don't. Let me take that back. Savannah's got a really high turnover rate because we are such a transient community. Um, but our residents tend to stay. We, in, in the Savannah market, we have about 70% retention, which is crazy. It's usually the opposite. Um, and now that we've expanded into other markets, we're experiencing that you know each of those markets is a little bit different. But we do surveys every time uh, a work order gets closed. We put a survey out there, and we want to hear what people have to say about how the experience was. And of course, there's always going to be a couple folks that let us know that things weren't perfect. And we can't expect things to always be perfect, because we're human. Um, we're working on that. It's a side project, don't tell anybody. And um, most of the time, though, on those surveys, they say really good things about our employees, about how strong our maintenance teams are and how kind they are when they're in their homes. Um, they're just really considerate. And that's, I think, an aspect of every single person that works for this company. It's from top down. It's just generous, considerate, kind, friendly. It's kind of instilled in everybody in the company, I guess. Your relationship with, with Don and Jeff? Um, wow. Uh, Don, I, I'm always watching to see what he's going to say next. Because sometimes he's completely unpredictable, and it's classic. I just, it's fun to kind of wait and see, like, is he just going to say hello today, or is he going to make like a really funny comment and share a story about something that happened? Um, and with Jeff, um, Jeff and I get each other's sense of humor, which can sometimes be a little bit off. Um, not everybody gets it, but we definitely get it. It's that Monty Python British humor. Um, I can remember once I changed my ringtone on my phone to the X-Files theme, and he was, oh, that's really awesome. So it, it, outside of you know work topics, yeah, that's, I think, where Jeff and I probably would say, yeah, we get each other's sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I've heard this company is people. It is. Yeah, definitely. We have a team of people that work for this company that really, I think, would do almost anything for each other and for the company, um, which that's pretty unusual, I think. And it's a good thing. I mean, it's a very good thing. I think that our residents see it. Um, and even when our folks work as a group um, to go do community service projects and things like that, it, it makes people kind of sit back and, and recognize the fact that we don't do this out of just the love of having a job and a paycheck. We do this out of the love of the work itself. And we want to help people find homes and build communities and get back to the community that we live in. 
Um, we do fundraising events and volunteer work, and it's just always sort of that sense of what more can we do. What, most important, say and spell your name for me and tell me what your position is. Okay. My name is Liz Buss, and that's L-I-Z, B as in boy, U, S as in Sam, S as in Sam, and I'm the regional manager for Coal Management Company. Okay. How long have you been here? I have been here since July the 5th. Oh, so you're pretty new. Yes, I am. Okay, all right. Now, now why does someone come new to coal management? Well, it was by invitation. <laughs> and um, I've been in the Savannah market for um, about 28 years I've been working here. Over those years, I've known many people that worked for coal management. They've always spoken very highly of them. Um, and a lot of those people or uh, many long-term employees. I know someone that just celebrated her 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, why is it? Why do these people have that reputation? Well, I believe that they are very community-oriented. They're, uh, they're very active with United Way. We have a Colts Cares program. Um, they involve their employees and just today I was at a kickoff for our United Way and I hadn't experienced that because I haven't experienced much with them. And uh, I believe when I met, went to that meeting today that I realized that they truly are like a family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. To you about, about the company. It says that they have a lot of integrity. Um, they they stand behind their beliefs. They follow through with it, and um, you know I'm very taken by that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk about the, your your relationship with your customers and, and how that is. Well, since I am new, um, I haven't had an extensive amount of interaction with my customers, but the customers that I have dealt with. Um, I've found that Cole is very caring towards them. They do want to provide them with an outstanding customer's level of customer service, and uh, they've enabled me to be able to provide that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fun to work here. Because they have a lot of cake. <laughs> they have a lot of cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, they're a, they're a good group of people, very nice, mm -hmm. but there is a lot of cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I understand the, the lunch discussion every day is, is interesting. The lunch discussion? Yes, I understand <laughs> there's a process, that, 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 that lunch is a high point of the day. Well, lunch is very important, but, and we have had a lot of luncheons, um, but it, it, amazingly, there's just a lot of desserts, a lot of cakes. <laughs> That's the benefits package at TOC. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, you coming on new, the, the company is in, is in a growth mode. What do you, how, do you, how do you speak to that? How do you see that? I'm very excited about it. We have a, a great team. Actually, the uh, director of operations, I've known her for many, many years. Um, she, was, she worked for me when she was a college student. <laughs> but um, she's very sharp. Uh, they, they certainly are reaching out. Um, they're becoming very progressive. And uh, I, I believe that we're going to be a success. What about the culture of the festival? Well, I, I, I believe that their track record says a lot, but it's also their commitment to their values, their commitment to customer service, and uh, that they're very open to change, too. And uh, I, think, I think that's what's going to enable us to get where we need to be, or where we want to be. We're in a great place now, but, uh, you know, we're looking forward. Mm -hmm. I don't think a thing. <laughs> right. What do you want people to know about coal management? Um, I believe just that it, it is made up of genuine people. Uh, it's a you know, very nice group of people. They've welcomed me with open arms, and um, I immediately felt comfortable with them, and I appreciate that. Okay, most importantly, um, say and start your name and tell me your position with the company. My name's Brian Pertel. I'm the CFO for Coal Management. Okay. And studying? My name's Brian, B-R-I-A-N. 
last name Pertel, P-U-R-T-E-L-L. -L. What about the culture of this company? Before I do that, I need to read a statement that uh, Amy wrote for me. I like working for the Coles. Smile at the camera. Sound excited. This place is great. All right, I'll be scared. Yes. What was your question? That's perfect. No, <laughs> okay. that's great. That's great. Um, Pretty good, yeah. Um, so the culture? Yeah. The culture of the, of the of coal and coal management company is just one of, I think, of integrity. I think that's what I learned the most. Being a CPA, integrity and accountability is so important to me. And I feel like Don and Jeff, you know, when you shake their hand or when they shake a hand in business, our vendors, our lenders, whoever we're dealing with, people are buying or selling property from, they know that we're going to do that deal because they shook hands and that, that their word means something. And so for me, in my position, I make sure that whatever I say or do with the banks or with anybody, that I'm carrying that out. That's really nice. Um, talk about the relationship with the residents. And I, I guess in your position, you don't see a lot of them. You probably don't. No, I don't get too many calls. Once in a while, I'll get a call somehow from somebody when working late, and I'll, I'll just send it to whoever <laughs> can take care. But I know the, for Jeff and Don, they take those very seriously. It's just not someone complaining, but it's someone who you know, lives in one of our communities who we want that community to feel like home to them. So it's not something we're just gonna pass off to a 1-800 number per se, but something we want it dealt with. Not that the person's gonna get what they want, but an understanding that they have a situation and concern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Um, talk about your relationship with, with Don and Jeff. Are they going to see this? They might. Um, okay. Let me think now. Um, no, I, I, I love working with both of them. Um, you know, I have the utmost respect for Don, um, to how he you know, had a business going and he sold the business and then you know, he found that retirement was too boring. He started a property management company and now that's created so many jobs and just he shows up to work every day. Um, and, and has input every day and, and has, you know, looks and sees things that sometimes I or Jeff don't see it. And he, he sees that and it's just great to have that vision. Um, and Jeff, you know, he's kind of a chip off the old block. He, he's working to create a company um, as his dad built, uh, built Build-A-Rama. I see Jeff building coal management company in something greater than it was um, when it was handed to him. And so I, that's why I like, I see when I work with them. How long have you been here? I've been here almost five years. Okay. What attracted you to it? Um, really, well, Jeff called me, and I was working in banking at the time, and I actually wanted to stay in banking, which was crazy after I thought about it. Um, but I had worked with them at the CPA firm, and, you know, Jeff and Don were just, I knew Jeff more than Don, but they just seemed like great individuals, and it seemed like a place I could just, you know, make at home um, for my, where I, my career path. Um, it really became that. I mean, it's a family-oriented business. Um, we grow and grow, but we never lose that. You know, I have a fiduciary responsibility to Jeff and Don, but I think they feel a responsibility to their employees. So whenever I'm negotiating insurance or benefits, I take that into consideration that we're trying to do something not just for ourselves, but for our, our employees of the company. And I think that really um, exemplifies what the Coles stand for. That's great. That's great. Um, gosh, I'm told it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's, we have a lot of fun. Um, we had a cookout on the front porch. I, I never wanted, I mean, accounting is accounting. I mean, you know, it puts everybody to sleep. So I, I mean, so I have to make sure my staff is awake by trying to make things entertaining and fun and just keep everybody going because, but even beyond that, we just have a fun group of people. Um, it's not so rigid, it's not so corporate, but we're just, you know, employ fellow employees just having a good time being ourselves. And I think that's, why, that's one of the best things about working here is just we can just be ourselves. I don't have to be overly serious. I can have a good time. Um, so I, that's, that's true. It's fun. It's great. It's great. Well, anything I haven't asked you that... that... No, I mean, it just has been a, a great place to work and seeing that we've grown and we're trying to do different things and trying to make the job for everyone better and have a future for not just ourselves 
as executives or Jeff and Don as the owners, but for every employee that people can move up through the ranks and have opportunity. And I think that's the biggest thing here is that you have opportunity and they want to create that opportunity within the company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what do you want, to, want people to know about coal management? Oh, that's a good question. What about coal management? We want to give our residents, we, we, we have a job to provide housing for people and that's their people's, those people's home. So it's our job and a coal management wants to give them the best home environment in the community that they're living in that they can have. And it, when it comes to employees, I mean, it's a place that there's accountability, but you get respect back. There's something's asked of you, but it's not just blindly asked of you with nothing in, in return. We have a company that really provides for its employees um, and takes their well-being seriously. That's it. That's it.